Um, please welcome Keenan Mullaney to the stage. Um, so uh, when uh, I was growing up, the uh, only time that I was allowed to choose where we were going to go to dinner was on my birthday. So on the eve of my 12th birthday, my dad called me up and asked, uh, where would you like to go for dinner? And uh, I said, I want to go to my favorite restaurant. Bill Knapps. <laughs> Do you guys remember Bill Knapps? <laughs> it was my favorite restaurant because it had the two most amazing food items in the world, and that was buttermilk biscuits with honey in that I devour. And, um, and then, <laughs> and then uh, they also had the greatest birthday chocolate cake yes. the world has ever known. Um, so it was an easy decision. And um, I think I should pause and explain that um, when I was growing up, um, my parents got divorced when I was very young, and then my parents started taking jobs all across the country, and even in Europe sometimes. So every school year, I started a new school. And my birthday was really close to the beginning of the school year. Um, so when my birthday would come around, I, I didn't really have many friends yet, and kind of like the first weekend of school being in uh, wasn't the most like, you should come to my birthday party. So, my birthdays became kind of like a family occasion, and so the special thing for me was that I got to choose where to go for my birthday dinner, and then uh, my mom or my dad, but never both, and my sister and I would go to that restaurant, and it would be, you know, really great, and I'd get some presents, and it was awesome. But, um, when I was turning 12, it was the first year that I had gone to the same school for two years in a row, um, so now everything was going to be different. Because the weekend before, I had had the best sleepover I'd ever had. Uh, in school that day, I was going to go to every single teacher, and I was going to get some candy from them. And then at night, my dad was going to take me, and we were going to follow the tradition of my birthday, and we were going to go out to dinner, and it was going to be amazing. Um, so, woke up on my birthday, and I went to school. And then um, at 8.46 a.m., American Airlines Flight 11, crashed into the North Tower of the World Trade Center, followed shortly by another airplane crashing into the South Tower. And um, a lot of people talk about, like, oh man, I know exactly where I was when I found out, when I you know, saw uh, September 11th. Um, but in my school, it was kind of weird because there was like, a lot of confusion, because the teachers first decided, like, let's just have regular school, they'll find out about it later, it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> and um, then a bunch of parents started picking up their kids, like, left and right, and rumors started spreading like wildfire through the school. So pretty soon, the rumors started that um, New York was under attack, there was an army that had invaded Pennsylvania, uh, the Pentagon had blown up, the president had been assassinated, and obviously, the next thing that was going to be attacked was my hometown of Lansing, Michigan. <laughs> there, there was some logic to that, I guess, because, I don't know if you guys know this, but Lansing has an anthrax-making facility? Well, why would that be the fifth thing that you attack in a terrorist attack? I still don't know, but still, us 11 and 12-year-olds were panicked. And so, in order to dispel the, the fear and the panic, uh, the teachers finally decided to just turn the TVs on, and I remember watching NBC News and Tom Brokaw, and we turned on just as the first tower fell. And it was, it was weird because even though we were so young, like, I totally remember um, knowing how serious it was. Um, I remember my teacher, uh, Mr. Magzik, um, he, he had tears in his eyes. And it like hit everybody in class like, oh, like this is this is a real thing. Like this isn't just a normal day. This is a day that we're gonna remember forever. Um, so needless to say, like it wasn't my birthday anymore. Like nobody needed to know. <laughs> nobody needed to sing. Nobody needed to give me candy. Um, and I was just gonna get through the day. And uh, I still had Bill Nash to look forward to, so I was just gonna, I was just gonna keep going. Um, but then early in the afternoon, uh, surprise, uh, my parents, who I've never seen in the same room together, brought cupcakes for everybody. <laughs> so uh, it was very awkward 
Um, because everybody was like, oh, it's, it's your birthday today? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Not happy birthday. You can't say happy on that day. It was, it was I'm sorry. And I... And, but kids aren't gonna like not eat cupcakes. <laughs> so <laughs> we just continued day. We ate cupcakes. Like, like you know how from high school, middle school, like you know one fact about like everybody that you can remember from that time. You know, like um, Pat Munson's dad owns Playmaker. It's cool. Um, Esme Honka is from South Africa. That's cool. Um, Vinny Pepsidero got his dick stuck in a vacuum cleaner. That's pretty cool. Um, well, mine forever and always was uh, uh, Kim Lee. Did he bring cupcakes in on September 11th? <laughs> so I, I somehow got through the rest of the school day and um, I went home and uh, my mom went to go drive me to the restaurant to drop me off, and me and my sister off, and uh, go naps. But instead of dropping us off, she parked the car, and she walked in with us, and uh, my parents sat down on the same side of the same table at the same time for the first time that I can remember, and honestly, I can't remember another time since that they've done that. And we ended up having the quietest meal I've ever had in my entire life, because we couldn't really talk about what happened that day, and my parents weren't going to go ahead and start chit-chatting about anything. They were still divorced, so there was no like common ground, apparently. <laughs> but, um, so we, we ate those buttermilk biscuits with honey in silence. And uh, I can't even remember what I ate for my main course, because those biscuits and cake were so good. But we had cake in silence. And, um, you know, years later, I, I remember asking my mom, um, why, why did you do, do that? Why did you come to school with a bunch of cupcakes on September 11th? And she told me that um, she, just, she just didn't want, her and my dad just didn't want me to remember that day as being awful. They wanted me to have one good memory of that day. Um, and I... <laughs> And I don't know if, if that's what they how they feel like the best thing to do. Um, but yes, we did it. And then I, I asked her, why did you guys have have dinner together with us? Um, and they then I remember my mom saying that um, that in that day she just she and my dad both just wanted me to know that I, I was always gonna that they were always gonna be there for me. And that it didn't matter that they were divorced, they were both my parents, and that they both loved me. So, um, when I think of September 11th, I, I of course think of the, the worst terrorist attack in American history. And I think of the deaths, and I think of the um, heroes. Um, but I, I also remember that my parents really loved me. So, thank you. Aww.